atelectasis. It refers to the closure or collapse of alveoli. It occurs when the alveoli cannot inflate properly and thus is not able to fill with air completely. Alveoli are the units of our respiratory tract where gas exchange takes place. If they does not receive adequate oxygen or inflate properly, then oxygen may not reach the blood sufficiently, causing further problems. Some of the commonest causes of atelectasis includes blockage of the airways, low airflow, scarring of lungs and increased pressure outside lungs, all of which causes the alveoli to shut close. Now atelectasis is a very common post-operative complication of major surgeries especially involving general anesthesia. Some other common risk factors associated with this disorders includes altered breathing patterns, retained secretions, pain, alterations in small airway functions, prolonged supine positioning, increased abdominal pressure, reduced lung volumes due to musculoskeletal or neurological disorders, restrictive defects, smoking, long-term bed rest, obesity, and long-term oxygen therapy. Any patient with this risk factors should be closely monitored for development of atelectasis after any major surgery. Coming to the types of atelectasis, there are three main types of atelectasis. First, compressive atelectasis. Second, resorptive or obstructive atelectasis. And third, contraction atelectasis. There is also patchy atelectasis, rounded atelectasis, gravity dependent atelectasis, subsegmental atelectasis, and bibasilar atelectasis. In this video, I have only described the three main types of atelectasis. So let's begin. The first is the compressive atelectasis. It is a form of atelectasis where there is compression of any kind of fluid, air, blood or tumor from outside the alveoli. This usually occurs when the lung walls that is the pleura is filled with these substances and the pressure outside the alveoli becomes more than the pressure inside the alveoli, causing it to shut down. The second type is the resorptive or obstructive atelectasis. It occurs due to blockage or obstruction of the alveoli. Due to the blockage, no air can enter the alveoli and neither can the air inside the alveoli leave from there. Thus, some amount of air gets trapped inside the alveoli. This air gets reabsorbed into the blood circulation, leaving an empty space which closes down without anything to keep it open. The contraction atelectasis occurs as a result of scars present inside the lungs, which does not allow complete expansion of the alveoli. It is like a contracture of the alveoli, which ultimately leads to the collapse of alveoli. A very common problem encountered in diagnosing this disorder is that the sign and symptoms of this disorder is very vague and not specific to the disorder. It includes difficulty in breathing, rapid shallow breathing, cough, sinuses, dizziness or fainting, wheezing or crackling sound, incomplete chest expansion and unilateral chest movement, all of which are also sign and symptoms of very common respiratory disorders. The diagnosis is thus done based on patient's risk for developing atelectasis, clinical examination of the symptoms and a chest x-ray. CT chest may be used to confirm the diagnosis as it accurately depicts the severity and involvement of lungs. Sometimes bronchoscopy, a procedure involving insertion of a camera attached tube into the bronchi may be done to visualize for any blockage such as mucus plug or foreign body. 
दिस ब्लॉकेजेस मे बी रिमूव ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसीजर इट सेल्फ टू ट्रीट द पेशेंट माइल्ड फॉर्म ऑफ ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव एटेलेक्टिस इज ट्रीटेड विथ सिंपल मैचेस सचेस चेस्ट फिजियोथेरेपी इंक्लूडिंग चेस्ट प्रकर्शन एंड पॉस्चुरल ड्रेनेज सक्शनिंग हेल्प्स इन रिमूविंग सिक्रीशन दैट ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट एयर फ्लो वेल नेबलाइजेशन विद ब्रोंकोडाइलेटर्स मे हेल्प इन थ्रोइंग आउट द थिक म्यूकस एंड फेसिलिटेटिंग एयर मूवमेंट इन टू द एल्व्यूलाइ इन सम कंडीशन वेर द ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इज सीवियर अ ब्रोंकोस्कोपी इज डन टू रिमूव द ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन पेशेंट इज एनकरेज टू कफ एंड डू डीप ब्रीदिंग एक्सरसाइजेस टू फेसिलिटेट एल्व्यूलाइ एक्सपेंशन patient may be intubated and put on mechanical ventilation compression atelectasis due to pleural effusion where there is accumulation of fluid into the pleura is treated with a procedure called as thoracosynthesis which helps in relieving the pressure onto the alveoli in thoracosynthesis a small needle is passed into the pleural space to drain the excess fluid contraction atelectasis may require to be treated with surgery to remove or shrink the tumor a lot of care is taken to prevent this condition in patients with risk of developing it the following methods help in preventing atelectasis in patients change patient's position frequently a sitting position is preferred over supine or lying down position post operative patients are encouraged to ambulate as soon as possible to prevent accumulation of secretions into the airways breathing technique and cuffing is encouraged in patients at risk of atelectasis incentive spirometry a device in which patient blows into the device is used to train the lungs and alveoli to expand it fully opioids and sedative medications which have the ability to depress respiration is avoided in such patients proper suctioning and chest physiotherapy helps in preventing accumulation of thick tenacious mucus so this is all in atelectasis for more such videos kindly do like and subscribe our channel see you soon